the 0 to 300 volt DC power supply getting the transformer mounted. Oh, good evening, YouTube. It uh, is back uh, here once again on this Sunday evening, 8.28 uh, uh, in the evening. Um, I have been working on the uh, case some more. I'll show you what I did. Basically, as I outlined, I think, in the last video, I elongated these uh, holes here to where it would move that way. And once I got it to where I, I wanted it, where it was... Uh, equally away from uh, this side and this side I uh, basically tightened it down on the uh, uh, what do you call it and uh, took a uh, actually what I did <laughs> let me let me explain a little bit better when I took all the uh, screws out the caps come off and I just basically used it to uh, put it in here and mark the holes out where I wanted it and right there is pretty much well it's hard to see I have that in backwards oh I know what it is it's down too low um, in other words I have to come up like that and once I do that that lines it up and that's about where it's got to sit so after I got the uh, holes marked out for it I went ahead and drilled those out. I don't know what that was inside there, but it didn't really need to be in there. So I'll put that back on. Um, so anyway, after I did that, I, uh, I was able to uh, get those holes drilled out. Now what I'm going to do next is, uh, you see these, these lines here, dotted lines. I'm going to take this uh, off here again and uh, cut that out around there. So that the uh, washer and the nut fits flat on the on the case, uh, I had it on there, and it, it basically is at an angle, and it doesn't really work very well that way. So I want to do the same with this one over here, and just round that off enough to where you know it will fit in there without the uh, uh, being on an angle like that. That made everything kind of wonky when I tried to fit it together. So, all right, I'm going to do that, and I'll bring you back. take and uh, use the file now to clear that out a little bit better I just sort of got most of it out of there in fact I think I need to get a little bit more out of this one it didn't go down very far I was trying to look at this through the camera and that didn't work very well so I'm gonna do it a little bit different this time I'll make the camera go over here I think it's a little bit better at the time. I'll still take the file and go over it a little bit. I can find the file. Getting cramps in my hands. I'm working with these tools. I 
Ah, t'es en tu l'as. Ouais, c'est son See what our oysters look like now. Should give me an idea. That should do it. I think that should be plenty of room. We'll go ahead and do a test on it. Make sure, but I think that's going to do it. Now you can see they should fit pretty good. Now I might have to take a little bit more off of here. Looks like I didn't quite get that equally. Now you can see that. Not rounded out like the other ones are. But that should be no problem. Take and file that off a little bit more. I think that'll do her. Yeah, that should be good enough, I think. Okay, next thing I got to do is mount that uh, transformer back in there. I'm not really sure, but I think with the, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, I can't get that, uh, I got to put that nut in first, that bottom one there, uh, because I can't get it in there with the uh, transformer in there. You can see that one there. That's got to be put on. So I'll probably go ahead and put all of them on. And uh, then I'll mount the transformer. I think it should work out pretty good. Let me do that and we'll be right back. Alright, you can see I do have the uh, two screws on this side in. They are secured. So it looks like from the bottom. Uh, basically what I'm going to do next is put the other two in. I'm pretty sure I know exactly where they need to go. I uh, also need to put in the um, uh, not nuts that hold up the uh, transformer at a certain level. Uh, I'm going to use these copper ones for that. Uh, they're copper colored. I think they're just uh, colored. I don't think they're or plated. I don't think they're actually Whatever they are, they stick to the magnet. I know that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put those in and get those lined up like they're supposed to be. And I'll put the other two screws here in, and uh, this thing will be ready to assemble the uh, the power transformer. Um, I have test fitted this already, so I know it works. So. I did lose one of these screws that hold this in, one of these screws here. I, I don't know how this happens. I, I watched it fall and then I took the light and looked around for it. It was not there. I don't know what that carpet does down there, but it just eats them up. So I'm going to put the uh, these water, these uh, nuts on next. I start to say. And uh, get those lined up where they're supposed to be. Now these are adjustable. Uh, I can make them go up or down with the transformer in, uh, as long as it's not tightened down. So I have a pretty good idea where it goes. Uh, so uh, say right there. It's a good place to start. Put the other one in. And then I can put the other two screws in and uh, get ready to slide the transformer in. So that's pretty close right there. So let me put the other ones in and I'll bring you back. Alright, back once more. I have the um, transformer bolted in. Uh, it's in pretty darn, pretty darn good. Uh, you can see there's the uh, spacing of it. Here's the bottom, what it looks like. So it is in just a little bit, uh, it might be at a, just a little bit of an angle. 
I think the uh, it's pretty darn close though I think uh, my plan is for the uh, feet is to uh, put a washer on the bottom of the uh, make it go up a, a bit higher and I think I'm gonna have to put it right there I believe not a big deal but I think with a washer it will fit just about right so it's a little bit higher than the uh, the bottom of that right now so that would be just about right uh, I gotta be careful how long the screw is obviously because I can't be dr or going into the uh, uh, laminations of the uh, coil or the uh, transformer so uh, I wish I had a uh, way of getting it in there uh, you know another thing I, I was just thinking of I could use the, some adhesive feet instead of using these screw-ons uh, like I said I'm not really crazy about these anyway they're really hard so you know but like I said it is in there it's fitting pretty darn good uh, I think you can see where the slots at or out on the screw they come up just enough there's plenty of room in between the uh, plastic we can see right there and there's room on this end as well plenty of room there and in addition the uh, meter now there is up against the top and that's uh, where it's going to reside whoops put it back in there and if we come around here and look we see there is room between there uh, not a lot but there is some and also this this will be the thickness of this will be added to that too so uh, it's got to go through that obviously too so it will be just a hair less than that probably something like that but like I say it is a uh, is what it is even if it touched it it wouldn't be the end of the world I, like I said it's when I hold it flat, it's like that. If I push in onto the bottom there, it's like that. But you can see there is a good bit of space there. So that's good. Real good. So that's going to work out just fine. Now the only other thing I have to worry about, again, is the uh, circuit board. And I've had several suggestions from you all. But you can see, maybe you can see if I put the camera correctly. If I put that fan right here, it would fit in there pretty easy. But I don't really want it there. I want it this way, I think. I want the circuit board there and put the fan on that side. And if I have to make this smaller, I can. It's not going to be a big deal. There's not really a lot that's got to fit on here. So I think I can do that with no problem. So that's the plan anyway. Now, Bob says the uh, fan needs to be pointed at the uh, fins of the uh, heat sink. So, you know, and it's another thing, I was going to say I could bring it up here, but that meter is in the way there, so. I think that'll work out. I, I really do. And if I have to lift this up a little bit, I could do that also. Move it down this way to where it sits on that. And, uh, you know, there's several different ways of putting it in there. And, uh, like I had it suggested I'm putting it in this way, but that would be hard to work the fan in then I think we'll see everything you know is what it is like I said that's just uh, the main part I wanted to get in tonight was this uh, transformer and I did get that in it is secure and uh, I had uh, three rubber washers for under here but then this one here has got a plastic washer under it which you know really is the same thing but uh, like I said that's a uh, that's all we have to have to do tonight. I have plenty of wire for the uh, filament windings to get them where they go. Now these are the uh, other filament line, the green ones are, and there's your power leads. I may have to add some extensions to them because I think that uh, socket is going to be over here and the fuse holder will be nearby. And uh, 
so like I said I can I can put some extensions on there and put some heat shrink around it and it'll be just fine but the rest of the leaves I believe are, are fine this one might require a little bit of a addition to it the red and yellow one center tap but it's only thing it's got to do is go down to the board so it may be long enough I don't know not a big deal one way or the other but like I say the uh, I want them to lay as flat as possible but you can see there's plenty of uh, space there maybe you can see maybe you can't see I can run that now I ain't there uh, even there all kinds of room up there so that is uh, good for that good for that and I'm happy the way that's turned out and I I'm really upset about losing that one screw but I'm trying to decide how to the best way to uh, I think I probably have some screws I can put in there and get it in there it's it's not gonna match these obviously but it should be good enough to stay hold this in that's all it's got to do is hold the plastic parts together so that the uh, case top will fit let's just put this on here real quick wrap the wire down under yeah see what it looks like I'll have to take that up front because it's going to screw up that fitting I'll be right back with you here in a minute There you go. There's what it looks like with the top on. Let's take a look at this underneath here. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room up there. All kinds of room. I think that's going to work out. And like I said, I'm not putting a... Uh, I was going to put a uh, holes, holes in the back of this, but I have decided against that. There is uh, between this area here around there's a, a gap around there except for this side here but there's a gap around this side and this side there's plenty of air going to get in there and also plenty of air on this end come in this way so I kind of want the uh, fan not to have too many places to draw from because uh, if I do then it's gonna the airflow is not going to be as good so I want to you know basically exit this side and uh, I think that's going to work the best. So I'm happy with that. Very happy. Just got to find me some decent feet. But that won't be a problem, I'm sure. And get that in there. You know, if nothing else, what I can do, and I have thought about this as well, is to remove the uh, transformer. There's just uh, the four nuts that will remove it. And then I can uh, put my feet in underneath there where it's uh, gotta, gotta be and uh, on this side and put the nut in screw that down and then once it's down I won't have to worry about it uh, I can put the transformer in and out that's basically what I had to do with this uh, here I had to put this in before I put the transformer in there's no way I can get my finger in there to hold a nut so like I say, I want to put the one, the good one here that I can get to. I can get to the nut on this side easy enough to do. And uh, get that done, and uh, that's the way I want to do it. I think I've talked enough, and I'm going to upload this, or put this in the computer in the morning probably, and uh, upload it. I'll get you a video tomorrow sometime. Uh, who knows, I may do it tonight. I'm not really sleepy. It's, uh, what time is it? 9.44. So. Got all kinds of time. Uh, like I said, that's uh, going to wrap me up tonight. Uh, I think that will do it. And I'm going to get online, try to find me some decent feet. One way or the other and go from there. I really like the way this is coming together. Happy about that. And 
and uh, so like I said that should should work out just fine yeah there's all kinds of well let's see this is a short one well that's just barely gonna reach if it even reaches so I'll probably go ahead and put extensions on the shorter wires and then go from there so all right it's gonna do me you guys have a wonderful evening thanks so much for watching and we will see you